once again to our English lesson. We are going to start a lesson which focuses on Unit 11 of your Grade 10 textbook. Today we are going to practice writing. Let's learn how to write an essay correctly. Let's start the lesson. Children, I know writing an essay is not a desirable task to some of you. And most of the time you leave this question without attempting at the exam. Although you may consider it a difficult task, there are many steps you can take and they will help you break down the task of essay writing into manageable parts. Let's learn those steps in this lesson. The first thing you need to do is this. In order to write a successful essay, you must organize your ideas first. In order to do that, you see either an outline or a diagram to jot down your ideas and organize them. To create a diagram, write your topic in the middle of your page. Draw three to five lines branching off from this topic and write down your main ideas at the ends of these lines. Draw more lines of these main ideas and include any thought you may have related to these ideas. If you prefer to create an outline, write your topic at the top of the page. From there, begin to list down your main ideas, leaving space under each one. In this space, make sure to list other small ideas that relate to each main idea. Doing this will allow you to see connections and will help you to write a more organized essay. Now that you have chosen a topic and sorted your ideas into relevant categories, you must create a thesis statement. Your thesis statement tells the reader the point of view of your essay. It will have two parts. The first part states the topic and the second part states the point of view of the essay. For instance, if you were writing about the internet and its impact on the present generation, an appropriate thesis statement would be, internet has impacted the present generation through its many benefits. Okay. So your topic is internet, which is the first part of the thesis statement and you are talking about the impact it has on the present generation through its benefits, which is the point of view of the essay. Now that you have developed a thesis statement, you should write a good introduction. The introduction should attract the reader's attention and show the focus of your essay. The introduction should tie up with your thesis statement, which will be included as the last sentence of your introduction. Next, you have to write the body of your essay. The body of your essay argues, explains or describes your topic. Each main idea that you wrote in your diagram or outline will become a separate section within the body of your essay. Now let's look at each paragraph you write in your essay. Each paragraph in the body of your essay will have the same basic structure. Begin by writing one of your main ideas as the introductory sentence. Next, write each of your supporting ideas and give examples to back up what you say. Next, you have to write a good conclusion. The conclusion brings closure of the topic and sums up your overall ideas while providing a final perspective on your topic. Your conclusion should consist of three to five strong sentences. After writing your conclusion, you have to read your complete essay. Check the order of your paragraphs. Your strongest points should be the first and the last paragraphs within the body with the others falling in the middle. Also make sure that your paragraph order makes sense. Make sure that sentence flow is smooth 
and add phrases to help connect thoughts or ideas. Finally, check your essay for grammar and spelling mistakes. Okay children, I hope now you know how to write an essay correctly. Children, now that you know how to write an essay, let's write one. Look at this question. This question appeared on 2016 O-Level paper. As you already know, at the exam in question 16, you are asked to write different texts to test your writing skill. You have a choice there. You can choose from an article, essay, speech, dialogue or even a story. As our lesson today focuses on writing essays, let's read that part together. Write an essay on Let's protect our forests. You may include the following. Why forests are valuable to us? Example, reduce the risk of landslides, habitat for wildlife, regulate climate, how forests are destroyed. For example, forest fires, encroachment that's clearing more land, and agricultural expansion. Then what happens when forests are destroyed? For example, climate change, increased temperature, changing rainfall patterns, all affect people, plants and animals. And what we should do to protect our forests? For example, planting trees. Okay children, remember all the tips I gave you and write your essay. As the outline is already given in the question itself, you can straight away start writing. Remember to write a good thesis statement, introduction and a good conclusion. Write around 200 words to get full marks for content. Now post the video and write the essay. Let's check what you have written by comparing it with this sample answer. Let's read it together. As Sri Lankans, we are very fortunate because we have been gifted with many forests throughout the island. Before civilization, the man was only a part of nature. Gradually, with human civilization and modernization, the man has become the controller of nature. Ultimately, he became the victim of a vicious cycle which made him take forests for granted. As a result, the concept of protecting nature and forests became a topic that needed much discussion. Forests are valuable in every aspect. We can realize the importance of forests by the action taken by the United Nations to protect them. They have included valuable forests in the world as natural world heritage sites. Singharaja Rainforest in Sri Lanka is one of such sites. Forests reduce the risk of landslides as they hold a large amount of water. Further, Forests are habitats for wildlife. Some endemic animals, birds, as well as some rare vegetation can be found in these valuable forests. For the proper functioning of climate throughout the world, the existence of forests is absolutely needed. Apart from all these, we could immediately feel the comfort they give to a weary traveller, the shade, cool breeze, fresh air and the beautiful scenery for the ice. The more valuable the forests are, the more destruction the forests face. One of the ways that the forests are destroyed is by cutting down trees for timber. As population increases, the demand for agriculture also rises. Consequently, man clears land for agricultural purposes. As a result, man encroaches the forests for the survival. Natural disasters like forest fires are common in some countries, 
especially in hot climate. What the modern man experiences today is the results of the negative impact of the destruction of forests. Climate changes drastically as the man's reaction to nature has no bounds. Increase of temperature is unbearable and the rainfall is also irregular unlike in the past. All these negative points affect the people, plants and animals directly and indirectly. In order to have a better world for all mankind, what can we do to protect our forests? Awareness programs along with reforestation must be put into practice. Attitude of the importance of simple living should be highly stressed. If the heart is big enough to think that the man is also a part of nature, the existence of forests is undoubtedly safe. Okay, I hope you also could write something similar. In this lesson, we learned how to write an essay correctly. I hope it was useful. By now, we have done lessons on writing articles, speeches, dialogues and essays which are quite useful when answering question number 16 in your O-level paper. So if you still have not subscribed to our channel, do it now and watch all our videos. See you again in a similar lesson. Goodbye.